What's up guys? So real quick video for a bunch of the rotary guys. Um, something that I haven't been talking about that I probably should. And to my knowledge, I don't think anyone has posted on YouTube, anything like that in regards to what can commonly knock out an ignition 1A smart coil. Uh, it's really simple. So let's say you guys go to do a compression check. Well, when you're doing compression check and the ignition's rolling over by itself, if you leave a spark plug unplugged, it will be able to go the path of least resistance, hopefully igniting something into a ground location uh, or possibly and definitely dwelling the coil, causing it to melt internally. So what I do and my suggestion to all of you is to grab your fuse on your ignition system and unplug the power to that for anything for compression checking, for obviously firmware updates for any ECU, and anything that you can come to mind to where you're cranking without trying to start the vehicle. So do not have ignition 1As without a spark plug in any given situation or with power in any given situation to when you are not trying to start the vehicle. You will fry your smart coils. Um, on this note, I've been writing this for the last um, five or six years now, how to calculate out coil dwell for a rotary engine and comparing it to a reciprocating engine. And how if the spark duration maintains at 3.2 milliseconds as per Lance's uh, information, then our spark charge time, so our dwell time, has to be reduced to, let's say we have 6.66 milliseconds at 9,000 RPM, that would have to be reduced minus 3.2 milliseconds, the leftover, times 0.8 to be 80 percent uh, duty for that function and we're left with about 2.7 I think it was um, milliseconds of actual dwell to use and that will be able to cut through higher boost which is why I always have a very clear indication on I think 8500 rpm and 25 pounds of boost of good limitation for an ignition 1A smart coil. Beyond that, CDI is always a great answer. It cleans the system up, you can rev higher, you can go through all the boosts in the world and it's never going to have an issue. Because the CDI is now reacting in a 0.2 to 0.3 millisecond uh, spark duration instead of 3.2 long duration spark duration your ignition events are much more precise and therefore when you request 14 degrees of ignition timing you're getting 14 degrees of ignition timing now on an ignition 1a smart coil because you have a long spark duration of 3.2 milliseconds well you can be firing that thing off and it's weak and then eventually it somehow fucking pops off a little bit but that can be inconsistent when that spark is actually igniting because you have this long duration spark event and it could be you know the rotors rolling over it could be anywhere in this period in which it's not 14 degrees it could be 12 it could be 16 it could be 21 because the amount of duration that's moved over in that three milliseconds of sparking and the atomization of fuel and air it could be offset because it's sparking for such a long period and it might not immediately start the kernel of the fire of the ignition. So there you go. There's a PSA. Unplug your coils when you're not trying to start the car. Never try keying on the vehicle with no spark plugs plugged into the ignition 1A smart coils. And uh, now you understand the benefits of CDI in a real quick video. And there you go. That's bottom line, how to make a little bit more power safely. I'll catch you guys in the next one.
Tschüss.